What is up folks? Need for Steve back at it with another video today. Uh, I've been going out and about riding in this in this time of quarantine here. Um, I'm hoping that you could pick pick it up on this uh, road mic here. Uh, you can't see it, but I can see it. But uh, today's video, I'm just going to talk about all of the modifications that I've done to the motorcycle. Um, any potential future plans that I have for it, I'm like, it's, it's pretty much done. Uh, so sit back, relax, let's get into the video. Alright, so as you have seen in a lot of my videos, this has been my one and only motorcycle that I've had since um, 2015. So I've been riding it for about four years. Um, I just hit 46,000 or 45,000 miles, 45,500 miles. Um, again, this has kind of been my my uh, my daily my daily vehicle for it is far from stock. I mean, most of it's stock, but there's there's a lot of upgrades, and I'll uh, I'll just kind of kind of start from the front and uh, work our way around. So starting from the bottom here, I have some OES uh, fork sliders right here. Moving up, I've got some Spiegler braided lines. I've got an RNG radiator guard in the front. Um, right here, I've got the a top light uh, LED headlight here. Uh, right now, it's currently in the daytime running lights. But if I hit the, like I said, the the high beam, that's my low beam projector there, um, which is also nice. Turn signals here. Like I said, if I hit the left, it'll, uh, you know, like that. It'll cancel, go back to daytime running lights, hit the right, uh, it does the same. Like I said, so that was just something that I really liked about these. Uh, these little three bulbs you can see, uh, those are like the, the high beams, quote unquote high beams. They are stupid bright and basically just kind of uh, impossible. Like they, they work to blind people, but who wants to do that? Uh, moving from there, I got the the GV windscreen. Super awesome! I love this windscreen. It totally complements the motorcycle. I don't know if you could see in there, but that's what they call a Modor garage door system. Essentially, it's just a like a it's like your standard remote that you would use. But I have it there, and there's a wire that breeds all the way over here, and there's a button right here. You just click that. Uh, and it'll open your garage door system. Super, super convenient. Like I said, right next to the flashlight button. It works. Uh, moving on from there, I have the uh, Proton 500 uh, turn signals. Uh, I'll, I'll show you in a separate video like the, the, the functions those can do. But speaking at night, those things are super bright. Uh, super impressed with those. Uh, going back to here, I also have these ASV uh, race levers. Uh, these are by far so much superior than CRG levers because they don't fade and turn purple like my CRG levers did. Um, I do like my CRG mirrors. These are the uh, CRG lane splitting mirrors, as you can see us in there. Uh, they fold open uh, or they fold closed, so you know if you're hauling it or in a truck you can do that it's super fucking dope the next mod i have is my coso apollo heated grips i have a video i'll link it up in the upper right hand corner so you can watch those i've learned throughout the years that the uh the only setting I ever used the red which is the most powerful one because the other settings don't really do jack shit uh my next mod would be my pro taper mid low uh handlebars again these or a nice powder coated block that matches the ASV levers. Super excited about those. It's just a more, just a little more hunched over than the factory bars, but I think it looks better and it feels a lot better. Next, I got my qual lock mounting system, which I'm using to hold my uh, my cell phone is my primary camera here. 
uh, these guys were nice enough to send me out so I can do a product review. Uh, if they didn't, I still would purchase their stuff because their uh, their phone mounting system is phenomenal. It's super easy. The next one I did is my, as you can see, is the LCD flip. I want to be the first to say that I was the first one to put this on an FZ07. Other people may not not agree, but I have video proof of it happening. Um, there's a company called Color Clusters that I did a video for back then, um, and they offer that, and you know, and it's just a kind of a cool thing to, to look at. I'm like it, it totally just transforms the the factory gauge, and it just looks better. There is also a gauge relocation bracket. So essentially, the gauge used to sit here. Now it sits behind here. Um, again, it just kind of adds a better, more sportier tour or sportier feeling because there's, you know, just some other room in there. So yeah, I also have my uh, another company I did is my uh, my digital guard dog keyless ignition. Uh, like I said, essentially, so I don't need a key to uh, start the motorcycle. I can just put it in my pocket and turn the bike on when I walk up closer I can hit the button on the on the transponder and it'll turn it on that's great so again so I have uh, my ASV brake lever over on that side another uh, CRG mirror again um, this is a throttle boss um, again it just kind of helps you know support your hand on, on long grain so you're not like strain it but I also have these like styrofoam covers that go over the handlebars um, just to kind of provide enough uh, feedback from the, the vibration that you get on long rides. Um, and, and mostly because the uh, the stock grips don't have any like tread left on them anymore. Uh, going down, I got some of these T-Rex frame sliders. Uh, this one I think is a little damaged. Uh, I In one of the videos, long, long video before, um, I... Uh, Thought I dropped my cell phone. I did put the kickstand down, and I dropped my motorcycle. So moving on, I got these aftermarket foot pegs. I don't know who makes them. I'll put that in the video if I find out. Um, I got those at a local motorcycle store that sells them. Going up from here, I have a Corican helmet lock because um, it's good to have a helmet lock on your motorcycle. So. Like I said, it's, it fits perfectly. It was supposed to go on the license plate frame, um, but I, I took it off and put it in between the frame and the, uh, the passenger peg, and it's like the perfect spot to put a motorcycle. Going up, ouch. Next, I have the uh, Seat Comp Concepts Comfort Seat. Um, this one has the grippy top on the, on the top. I like the carbon fiber on the side. Um, if I were to go back, I probably would go like a, a, uh, a Corbin seat. Yeah, the Corbin seats are super ugly for these things, but they look super cushy and plush. Um, I did an install video on this, and I'll, I'll link that in the upper right-hand corner. Coming from the back, I have the uh, Cycle Guys um, Sport Bag Tail Bag. Essentially, when it's not in use, you fold it away so it's just like an extra seat. But when you need it, you can pop it up. Uh, like I said, and you, you got some room in there. I've got like my iPhone charging cable, my uh, tripod mount, extra lenses, and some garbage. So you got that. It's it's super extra nice to have a when you, when you need it. And just stows away when you don't. I'm coming around back here. I have the uh, Moto Dynamic integrated tail light. Uh, this one's got a lot of like neat features to it, so you can change the uh, flashing style. Um, like I said, it also has the sequential turn signals. So it, for example, so we'll do that. Like I said, so you got sequential turn signals from the left and the right. So put that on there. Like I said, and you also have, like I said, and if you press on the brake, it'll flash three. It'll pulse three times and stop. You can also change it so it uh, it does regular brake lights. I might do a review video on that, just showing you the different functions. Um, again, on this side, my uh, Proton 500 tail turn signals. 
and uh, like I said, my high beam and my uh, hazards up there, just so you can kind of see what's going on on that side. Um, I also have the Yoshimura Fender Eliminator, because that's like the first thing you do on every bike you get is you take the fender off, just because it looks like shit. The next one I have is these OES spool sliders. Um, so you can use that to lift up the back tire and clean everything and, you know, take it off. And uh, going down here is one of my favorite mods is my Acropovic titanium exhaust. Um, I'm going to do a sound clip again, frame slider on this side. Um, and I also added these uh, Yamaha belly pans. Um, I think it just adds like a, a nice finished look in there. Uh, as you can see. Uh, those are all of the modifications that I've done to my 2015 Yamaha FZ07. Future plans for this motorcycle? I don't really know. Um, I would love to put inverted forks on this thing. I don't think it's necessary. But again, it'd be kind of a fun thing to see. Or maybe a, a turbo kit. You know, because this thing's already paid off. And I threw around the idea of buying another motorcycle. Uh, I, got, I currently got furloughed from my job, so I don't really have any income coming in. And... Just gonna see how the economy does and hopefully it doesn't tank and you know that kind of stuff but you know you could you could i don't know if i've ever showed the up the up close imperfections on the wrap but there's a you slightly see some bending here it's, it's a lot of looks like a veiny wiener right like i said some some down here and you know it's starting to peel up right there and on this side, you could kind of see it too. But yeah, if you guys like this this video, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate the help. Um, as always, I am Steve on the FC07. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.